Hi there. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're doing really well. So for today's video, I have some thrifted, 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 thrifted bags and suitcases to share with you. So anything you might find in the purse and bag section at the thrift store is what we're going to look at today. So this is our first suitcase. It's the biggest one I have in this collection of items. So I thought I'd get it in first. And we'll work our way down. But it's this beautiful vintage suitcase by... Weary, I think. Weary. W H E A R Y. And it has this little pink handle on the top. It's a little squeaky. And it's just a vintage Madeline Madeline themed suitcase and it is from the year 1998 and it has all these little flowers and then it has this patch right here with Madeline on it the bottom has wheels and this part is a little wonky I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or not <laughs> kind of thought it was supposed to not be like that but maybe um, anyway it's okay a bit of um, 90s themed Madeline items. Never a suitcase, um, but I thought I'd try it out and see. I'm gonna um, list it in my eBay store and maybe it'll find a new home. That's 
this outside zipper pocket and then it has the larger compartment and then this blue little handle as well I'll open it up for you so you can see inside here we have the inside it's pretty clean it's in good shape nothing's peeling off or falling apart and then we're a little The next item we have is this purse. It's a really cute striped woven purse from the sack. It has this little bubble on it. And then the bag has a nice zipper pocket, which is great. I love an outside zipper pocket or an outside slip pocket for my phone, or my keys, just so I can. But this is beautiful, I think. I like the colors. It's pretty, like, reddish, pinkish. Not pink, but <laughs> pinkish red. And then, like, a, like a wine color. <laughs> and then this is, like, a uh, turquoise or teal with some yellow. And then this is almost like a coral color right there. In really good shape, and it has an interior zipper pocket, and then we have our little the sack, the sack logo right there. And then let's see. Oh yeah, there's also we have these little stretchy slip pockets. So I mean, you could put your phone in here or pens or something, whatever you want. Sunglasses. zipper pull here I always I've loved like all the bags from the sack and the sack roots bag all that kind of stuff they're just like a fun colorful boho style a rainbow, but I also like this character. It's very cute. And Deary Lou is actually kind of like raised up a little bit, like this raised up like vinyl or something. <laughs> and the white letters and clouds have sparkles. We have this little mushroom that's smiling at us. Then we have a little mesh pocket. Here. And also right here. And on the top we have polka dots. Here we 
on the inside is just a big open space right there no extra pockets or anything but I still thought that really cute bag, little canvas bag, good for like a sleepover or to take to like a dance class or anywhere you need a change of clothes gymnastics, anything, anything you need to change for your water bottles or whatever you want to put there our next bag is this Victoria's Secret tote bag it has red and pink stripes with Victoria's Secret logo spelled out on it really cool Walt Disney World Walt Disney World backpack it is from the Walt Disney World theme park as you may have surmised and it has this large Mickey right here on the exterior pocket and then it has the all over print with, um, Mickey parts <laughs> Little shorts 
and the hands, and then the little Mickey heads. And the back, solid black with the printed straps. They're adjustable. And they have a nice little padding to them because you want to be comfortable if you're going to haul this around at the park. <laughs> it also has little mesh pockets right here. And another one right here. It has some scratches and scuffs, but overall it's not in bad shape and it's quite functional. It has the large zipper pocket and then this exterior pocket with an additional zipper pocket right there. And then it's also got this other zip pocket along the top. Little Mickey heads all over it. In here, we have our authentic Disney Parks tag right there. This has a nice little padding to it as well. It has little spaces for like pins and stuff, whatever you want to put in there. And then we have our extra, extra <laughs> pocket here. It's a little shallow. It's not too shallow. Ooh, it's not too shallow. And then this one, it goes really deep. This exterior pocket. I'm gonna put my whole arm in this one. So, it's pretty deep. There's a lot of space in this backpack. You can put all kinds of stuff in here. I have two more little kids' backpacks, and then that's it for all the backpacks I have. Um, but this, I could not resist. I don't think this is vintage. I think it's just like kind of made to look like that, but it's just so cute. It's this little Saint tonight. Kids' backpack. And it has the cool, like, um, color block style, kind of like from 80s, 90s. And the cool part, in addition to the colors, is that it comes with a fanny pack. A little kid's matching fanny pack. I just thought that was the cutest thing. We have pink straps, and then the purple background here. And in the front, we have blue and then purple with the pink netting and then another background of purple. And this is nice because it has um, this hook and loop, hook and loop closure patch right there. You can slide stuff in the exterior. And then you have ample space inside for all your belongings. That's a really cute kids' backpack and fanny pack from Sam's Night. Little silver zipper pull right there. And this part right here, you can see through the top. It's like a clear, clear plastic. So our next kids' backpack is this. Yes, and verb. Put back. Put back. It says Agent P. It's an official Disney store item. It has little padded straps. And a little bit of padding on the back, too. Sharpie. We have all of our tags here on the inside. Disney Store tag. And then you can unzip this part. You got a large exterior pocket. It has this little mesh pocket inside. This next bag kind of goes in the category of why did I buy this? I don't really know. I 
think I just got kind of excited because it was a Kate Spade bag. You can see it's got the Kate Spade logo right there. But it is Dola from the flow up on the outside. I mean, it's got all kinds of stains embedded in that. Like, I can't get them out. I have tried every trick I know, all the things I have. It has all these marks and stains here. They're not bad stains. They're not like gross or anything, but they're just, you know, it's been heavily used. So it's got a lot of dark marks and stuff. And I guess I picked it up. It's A. I was excited. It was Kate's Bay. And B, I have sold really messed up Kate Spade stuff before. Like, um, one purse that I found at a thrift store. I thought that I could get the stains out. I don't know what it was. They were just, it was a vinyl purse. And it had these red marks. But I've been pretty good at being able to get stuff out of purses. Um, could not get them out. But I still got a little bit of a profit off of it. I mean, not much. Considering how hard I tried to get those red stains out. But <laughs> someone still bought that purse with red like all over it. I think somebody's somebody got a hold of it with like I don't know what it was like but nothing would take it out. So and I tried really hard here. Now I will say the inside is in decent shape. It's this hot pink lining. And of course it says Kate's Pay New York inside. And slip pockets. It does have a couple of like dark marks on the interior, which happens with purses. Um, it does make a nice sound at the end of the day. And it's still a functional bag. It just has a lot of marks. Maybe I shouldn't say toe up from the flow up. It's not that. And this is the bottom of it. This last one is a kid's suitcase, a vintage kid's suitcase, and it's probably one of my favorite things that I'm showing you today. It is probably from the 70s, and of course it has Snoopy as the Red Baron with Woodstock, and they're flying the airplane over this room. it says Peanuts characters 1965, but that doesn't mean that's how old this is. That's um, a common copyright date for the Peanuts. Um, but yeah, this is such a cute suitcase. I could not, could not resist it. It's 
so cute. I just love the colors and the nostalgia. look through today. 